Hey, hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about switch, switch in Oracle integration. So whenever we require to add if a statement or if is a statement, we have to use switch. Switch statement is going to going to help us to add a logic based on the condition, whatever condition we have to implement. So suppose we have to create integration, that integration will get a value as a request payload, whatever value it will be that the p values as 500 and based on that value it will identify that this value is positive number, negative number or zero. So based on that it will return back response as a positive or negative. So we have to create integration in such a way. So let, let's create begin and I will show you how we can use switch for, for solving that kind of issue, right? So let's begin. So for that I will create one app driven integration so that app driven integration can we can uh, we can uh, add the logic for request and response payload so I will give the name as x x as it's going for use switch switch integration and just I will go for create I don't want to configure any other details so we know that whenever we are going to create app driven integration or application we don't have any endpoint so first we have to add the endpoint so the first endpoint will be as a trigger endpoint. So here you can see the icon as a trigger. Once you will select all the connection will be visible here as a trigger or trigger and in invoke. I will add the rest endpoint here. So once I will add the rest, it will ask the details. So I will choose name as start rest. So why I am using a start rest? A start is the action. What action we are going to perform with the help of this endpoint? We are going to initiate the integration, start the integration, and the rest is the name of the. the the connection type of the connection right so after that i will go to next and here as i have to configure the request and the response payload i will select post and then here we have to provide the payload so i will provide payload add switch you can use based on the requirement right and here i have to configure the request payload so i will tick here i have to configure the response payload so i will tick here right so now next i have to provide the request payload structure so i will select json you can say this is the request sample and here we have to provide the sample so as i have already make a sample here i will copy this one and paste now after that i have to go for next once i will go next it will ask for the response payload right so i will go here and the select value as a json and i will provide the response payload so already we have response payload here so done now we have to add okay and now next done right and done so here we added the endpoint to get the request payload and based on this mapping we will return back a response. So now we have to add the condition to identify that value is positive or negative or any other. For that we have a stitch. So here, so, sorry, for that we have uh, we have switch switch statement. So here you can see in logic part we have switch. So what we have to do, we have to map this switch here. So here we have to add the logic, right? So first value root one that the first condition will be that if our value is positive or anything you can add. So here where is our value? Our value in the request wrapper. So I will expand here and this is the p value. I will expand here I will check if p value is greater than zero it means it will, it will be the positive number. So this will be the first condition and I will give the name as a positive. Positive right. And here you can see if our value will be the positive what we have to do is that so what I will do I will create one variable in that variable I will store the response right and instead of that what I can directly map here only so this is the mapper I will move this mapper here so what I will do I will cut this mapper here and I will paste this mapper right so here once our value will be the positive I will map the value in the editor mode as a positive right so here you can see in result I will right click create target node and what value I have to add I have to value add as a positive right that's done validate and back for the same this another condition we have to add for the negative so that the last we can consider as a zero for adding the condition add another logic we have to click here and here we have to add the branch so here what will be the name I will give the name as a negative here and what condition I have to add again I have will go to the response wrapper request wrapper here I will drag the p value and if p value is less than zero right p value is sorry if p value is less than zero it means that value is negative right so we have to give the mapper here so what I will do I will drag mapper here 
so that this time it will it, it will map the value as map the value as a negative right so again in the response wrapper i will right click at the now target node and here i will give as a negative so now here we add a two mapper first mapper if the condition will be the true that it will map the it will map the positive in the second it will map the negative and the last will be the zero so again i will add another mapper here so whenever we are adding mapper it asking for which endpoint we have to add the mapper and we have to add the mapper for the first star thrust endpoint that's why it's showing here so i will click here create and that you can see we the map to start rest is added so in expand the response wrapper right click here create target node and here you can see we have to provide the value as zero as this is the third condition that's otherwise if our value is not positive and not negative it means that value will be zero so it's i will go move back and here you can see this we have created integration we are getting value as a request payload and we based on the condition here we added for the switch we have mapped the positive negative or the zero so let me save the integration so we are not going to be make a configure its interrupt because we have one error related to the business identifier so here by clicking here we have to add the variable so whatever value we are getting i will map as a business identifier i will save here and after that it's in configure status we have to run so go back first activate the integration once integration will be activated we can run the integration so here it's activated i will go and run the integration so for run you can in body we are we have default value as 500 it's supposed to be pass as 68 so this 68 is positive it will return back response as a positive you can see this is the positive if i will pass value as a minus 68 it will return back response as a negative as we have added the condition negative right and if suppose we pass zero it will return back zero right so here you can see it's returning zero and how it's it's working you can see in the log message or the activity stream we added all the logic so here you can see we have the value whatever value we pass as zero and here you can see message enter in switch the control enter in the switch in the switch it's moved to the otherwise why otherwise because it's not it's not going to be make a true statement for the for the positive or the negative so in mapper you can see we added as a negative zero right here in response we can see we added as zero so this is the basic integration where we added the logic for the switch statement if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and like the video and obviously make a comment so that it will make us motivate so that we will make that kind of videos again and again thank you so much for watching